nor give up land. And all we have to do is raise the economic standards of the Arabs on the West Bank, and they will be happy Arabs. It takes a certain kind of a mentality rooted in contempt for human beings to think that if we raise their living standards, they will become good Arabs. We became the Rudyard Kiplings of the 20th century. Load the poor native and we shall raise him up and then he shall be grateful on, unto us. The Intifada is the normal reaction of people who believe the land is theirs and who rise up against people that they assume to be conquerors and occupiers. And why are we shocked at the Intifada? What did we expect after 20 years of raising a generation of new Arabs? Their parents illiterates, farmers, peasants. We gave them schooling. We took their children and we built universities. Seven universities we built. Under Hussein there wasn't one university because he knows the Arabs because he's an Arab. He knew that the most dangerous Arabs of all would be the university graduates, and so there were no universities. Menachem Begin created the universities in Hebron, in Bethlehem, in Shechem, in Birzeit. And so, you had, for the first time, intellectuals coming out, and the intellectuals are the revolutionaries. They are the revolutionaries. And so there is an intifada, which is now going into its 15th month. Every two weeks, 